Hi everyone, it's Catherine. Today I'm going to be talking about materials for laser cutting. These materials will work with most laser cutters. I'm specifically working with a Dremel laser cutter, so I'm going to focus on that, but this is pretty tried and true for all laser cutters, no matter what you're going to be working with. Um, I'll just go in order from the, the top corner. So the first material that's really fun to work with on laser cutters is wood. Uh, wood is great because you can etch on it and you can cut it. Uh, and you can usually go from between 1 16th inch up to a quarter of an inch if you have a 40 or 50 watt laser cutter. You can go even thicker if you have a higher wattage, but the Dremel is 40 watts, so you can get, um, you can cut all the way through a quarter inch of wood. Uh, the two that I have here, for example, these are sold by Dremel. One is the birch plywood, and that's what these two are cut out of, and it has a, a nice finish to it. The other one is a walnut plywood, and it's a beautiful dark wood. I haven't cut with it yet, but I'm about to, and I'm really excited about that. The other nice thing about wood is that you can get it from your local hardware store, so Lowe's. If you don't need it to be super flat, you can buy it for very inexpensive amounts. And you can get uh, all sorts of things that are made out of wood. So I picked up this banner sign from the Target Dollar Spot area, uh, $3 for this whole thing and it has like six of these banners on it. So I don't have to cut that, but I can etch on it. So I'm excited to, to play around and see what I can do with that. So almost any kind of wood uh, you can use in your laser cutter. The next material is acrylic. So acrylic is a type of plastic and it can come in all sorts of different colors. Um, as you can see the side view of, of these colors here, um, they are anywhere from translucent completely to fully opaque with the different colors. Uh, these three are the acrylics that Dremel specifically sells. They have a clear blue, a clear, just plain clear, and a translucent clear, so that's a little bit of a foggier to it. I've also bought some additional colors online just to try out. Um, you can probably tell what my favorite colors are from this and the felt. Uh, but I am going to be cutting some jewelry out of these, so I just needed a, a small piece to try out. The nice thing about buying acrylics online is that you can get uh, test size pieces, and if you're only cutting a few little pieces, you don't have to buy a huge sheet, which can get very expensive very quickly. So acrylic, uh, you can cut similar to wood, up to a quarter of an inch thick. Um, and you can also engrave on it as well. It's a little stinky when you engrave because it's burning the plastic. Uh, so you wanna make sure you have really good ventilation. You probably want a booster fan so that it's moving out of your space quickly. And you just wanna make sure that you don't have any sensitive people around uh, if you are laser cutting in your home. The next material that you can cut is different types of fabrics. So I have felt here. Uh, and also some cotton fabric. What's fun about that is that you can cut different uh, patterns out of your fabric and then sew with it like you would normally. So you can get really detailed cutting and you don't have to do it by hand or with a, one of those rotary cutters and that is really nice. I haven't played around with fabric on the laser cutter too much, but I'm excited to do some cutting on felt so I can make my daughter some felt foods and things like that. You probably don't want to engrave your, or raster on your um, fabric. You can, but it, you're gonna have to really fine tune your settings so it doesn't just burn all the way through. So that is fabric. The next material is cork. Cork is awesome. Um, you can raster really easily on it and cut. So if you wanna do coasters, I picked up these coasters at uh, Michael's. So they're already cut as circles. And I'm just going to raster some patterns on it to make coasters for myself. So cork is easy, you can cut it and engrave on it. Uh, the next one is rubber. So rubber is nice because it, um, you can make stamps with it. So I use this for my Etsy store so that I can stamp all my envelopes with my um, Etsy uh, URL and everything. And it's, this is not specifically the exact type of rubber, this is an example. But the rubber that you can get for the laser cutter is gray and works just like stamps. Um, it is also very stinky because it's a plastic. Anything that's plastic that you are laser engraving will be very stinky. So just 
keep that in mind. Uh, the next chunk of materials is paper. Paper is great for laser cutters. Uh, you can get really detailed cuts on cardstock or regular paper. Um, and then you can also use any kind of additional paper you might have. So I have a huge collection of different papers that I like to work with. I've got some bingo cards, maps, and then old books that I can uh, cut tags out of and then use for uh, gift tags and all sorts of things. Uh, I also do pop-up cards for fun and I cut those out of cardstock and they the, just pop up. And you can laser cut and engrave on any type of paper surface. So even these boxes, um, I can pull off this box top and stick it in my laser cutter and just engrave directly on that paper surface. So there's a whole lot of versatility in what type of papers that you can work with and how you wanna um, cut and, and build projects with them. And once again, you can go as thick as a quarter of an inch. So if, if you have mat board that you're cutting, uh, you can cut that up to a quarter inch thick on a laser cutter. The last section of materials is looking at leather and uh, vinyl based fabrics. So leather is uh, pretty interesting. It's really cool to be able to cut um, jewelry out of it. So I've been doing a little bit of that uh, with leather scraps that I picked up a big bag of them at Michael's and then it came to with just a bunch of different types of leather. You can see how thick these are. So that's um, pretty thick leather and it's very stiff. Or there's this thinner flexible leather. I haven't cut on this one yet. I've mostly been cutting on the stiff kind. So the thing about leather that I've found so far, these are finished on Dremel's website. It says uh, it has settings for unstained uh, leather and that might be that the stains can be toxic when they're burned. So once again, make sure you have good ventilation. If you are gonna use stained, they probably just can't tell you that you can use them because of potential toxicity. Who knows? Um, so they are really stinky when you cut because you are pretty much burning cow flesh and that is very stinky. So you want your ventilation. And then I did engrave on one piece of leather and oh my God, that was awful. Um, <laughs> it looked kind of cool but then it just smelled bad when it was cutting and then they were earrings. And so they just smelled like burned cow when I was trying to wear them. So not highly recommended. Uh, the other material I have here is a vinyl based um, kind of pleather almost, but it's pretty thin. I'm gonna try cutting with this. It's a little plasticky, so it might melt and I'm gonna experiment with that to see if that is laser cutter um, approved or not. So I'll, I'll follow up with additional uh, videos on how these look when they are in the laser cutter. Um, but I just wanna mention that one as well. There are a couple other materials that you can etch on, but you cannot cut. And that is glass. So you can etch on glass and you can score on glass, but you're not gonna cut through on a laser cutter. Uh, same thing with anodized aluminum. Uh, anod Anodizing puts a color coat on top of the metal, so you can etch the surface color off and that looks pretty cool, but you're not gonna be able to cut through aluminum with a 40 watt laser cutter. Uh, you can once you get to the much higher wattages, but that's not what I have, so I have not been able to work with metal in that way. Um, and then another one in the fabric area is denim. You can cut and etch on denim. I haven't played with that yet. One extra tip that I like to give everyone is that when you get materials, even if they're from the laser cutter manufacturer, make sure to do test cuts with them. So there are preset laser settings for the different materials for the Dremel laser cutter, but it might not be exactly what you want. And it might also be a little bit different for the materials that you're actually using. So make sure you do a test cut and a test rastering. And if you want to make a, a material swatch for each one of your materials, I actually have a whole video about making a test swatch with lots of different rasterings on it. And that'll help you determine what raster settings that you want to use when you're engraving to get the right effect. And it will help you test to make sure that the cut goes all the way through. Because there's nothing worse than getting your entire piece done and pulling out the sheet just to realize that it was like a fraction too shallow and then you can't actually get uh, your piece out of the larger piece of material. 
that's happened to me. So don't do that. Uh, make sure to test cut and then you'll be set for your laser cutting projects and uh, for using all of the different materials. So that is the overview of all of the types of materials that are most recommended for laser cutters. But if you kind of keep in mind, if a, if a material is not overly hard or overly shiny or overly thick, you can most likely laser etch and potentially cut it. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about your projects. And you can even get a little bit crazier like uh, etching on book covers or, or cutting through book board and just thinking about fun ways to use a laser cutter that uh, might be just a little bit out of the norm. So let me know if you have any extra questions about materials. I'll be posting more videos up soon showing how the materials look uh, in the laser cutter, but I wanted to give you a preview first so you can start thinking about how to use your laser cutter. Thanks.